Imagine transforming your body in just 30 minutes without any fancy equipment. With our 30 minute no equipment full body heat workout, you can torch fat and build strength. High intensity interval training or HIIT has revolutionized fitness. By alternating between intense activity and rest, HIIT workouts maximize efficiency, perfect for your busy schedule. This routine incinerates calories and keeps your metabolism revved up. Suitable for both fitness aficionados and novices, this workout can be tailored to your level. Ready to burn serious calories and sculpt your physique? Let's get started. High Intensity Interval Training, or HIIT, is a game changer in the fitness world. But why is it so efficient? Well, let's delve into that. The real beauty of HIIT lies in its simplicity and adaptability. It's all about alternating between periods of intense heart-pounding activity and short, sweet rest periods. This strategic alternation is the secret sauce that allows you to torch calories and build strength in a fraction of the time compared to traditional workouts. And the best part? This 30-minute height session is designed not just to maximize your fat-burning potential, but to keep your metabolism elevated long after the workout is complete. This is due to a phenomenon known as the afterburn effect, or scientifically, excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Essentially, your body continues to burn calories at an elevated rate even after you've wrapped up your workout. Whether you're a seasoned fitness enthusiast or a beginner just starting your wellness journey, this routine is adaptable to all fitness levels. That's the beauty of HIT. It can be as challenging or as gentle as you need it to be. As you progress, you can ramp up the intensity to continue challenging your body and pushing your limits. What's more, the absence of equipment means you can perform these exercises anytime, anywhere. Forget about the intimidating rows of gym equipment or the hefty price tag of a gym membership. All you need is your body, your commitment, and a little bit of space. This makes height not only an efficient workout, but a highly accessible one too. In summary, height workouts are a powerhouse of benefits. They are efficient, allowing you to achieve maximum results in minimum time. They are adaptable, catering to all fitness levels and progressing with you as your fitness improves. And they offer a post-workout burn, keeping your metabolism elevated and your body burning calories even after the workout is over. That's the magic of HIT. Intense, adaptable, and with an afterburn effect that keeps you burning calories even after you've finished working out. Now that you're familiar with the power of HIIT, let's set expectations for today's 30-minute journey. This workout is designed to be efficient, adaptable, challenging, and rewarding. Efficiency is the name of the game. We understand that time is a precious commodity. So, we've carefully selected each exercise in this routine to engage multiple muscle groups simultaneously. This full body engagement ensures that every minute counts, maximizing your calorie burn and making the most out of your 30 minute commitment. Next up is adaptability. Whether you're just starting out on your fitness journey or you're a seasoned enthusiast, this workout can be tailored to suit your fitness level. You control the intensity. As you grow stronger and more confident, you can ramp up the intensity to keep pushing your body's limits. Let's talk about the no equipment challenge. Forget the rows of intimidating gym equipment. This routine is all about harnessing the power of your body weight. By leveraging your body's resistance, we'll build strength, improve endurance, and torch fat. This means that anyone can join in, regardless of your current fitness setup. Lastly, we have the post-workout burn. One of the beauties of Hyatt is the afterburn effect, scientifically known as excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, or EPOC for short. In simple terms, your body continues to burn calories at an elevated rate long after you finish the workout. So even when you're done, you're not really done. Armed with these insights, you're ready to face the challenge head on. Remember, this journey is about progress, not perfection. It's about becoming the best version of yourself, one workout at a time. So are you ready to transform your body in 30 minutes? Let's get started. Before we dive into the workout, Let's create a conducive environment for a successful session. First and foremost, ensure you have ample space around you. You'll be moving in all directions, so it's important to clear any obstacles that could hinder your workout or cause injury. Next, dress comfortably. Choose a tire that allows for a full range of movement and helps your body to stay cool. Breathable fabrics are your best friend here. Don't forget to have a water bottle nearby. 
Hydration is key, especially during high-intensity workouts like this one. Sip on water as needed, but try not to gulp it down during your rest periods. Finally, remember to listen to your body. This workout is designed to challenge you, but it shouldn't cause pain beyond normal muscle fatigue. If you have any pre-existing health concerns or injuries, it's wise to consult with a healthcare professional before starting this or any new exercise routine. Now that you're all set, let's dive into the workout. Before we begin, it's crucial to warm up our body to prepare for the high-intensity exercises. A proper warm-up increases your heart rate, improves circulation, and prepares your muscles and joints for the movements to come. So let's get our bodies primed and ready for action. First up, we have jumping jacks. Stand tall, feet hip width apart and arms at your sides. Now jump out, spreading your feet wide as you swing your arms overhead, then jump back to the starting position. This dynamic movement is a fantastic full body warm up, getting your heart rate up and preparing your body for the workout ahead. Allocate one minute to this exercise. Next, we have high knees. Stand up straight and place your feet about hip width apart. Raise one knee to your chest as high as it can go, then switch to the other knee as if you're jogging on the spot. This exercise warms up your hip flexors, quads, glutes, and calves. It also elevates your heart rate, priming your body for the high intensity workout to come. Spend another minute on this exercise. Lastly, we have arm circles. Stand tall, extend your arms out to the sides at shoulder height. Start making small circles with your arms, gradually increasing the size of the circles. After 30 seconds, reverse the direction of the circles. This exercise warms up your shoulder joints and engages your upper body, preparing your muscles for the more intense movements to come. Spend one minute on this exercise. Remember, the goal of the warm-up is not to exhaust yourself but to get your body ready for the workout. So take it at a pace that feels comfortable for you. You should feel your heart rate increasing and your muscles warming up, but you shouldn't be out of breath or fatigued. Feeling warmed up and ready to go? Great. Let's move on to the main workout. Now it's time to dive into the core of our 30-minute full body HIIT workout. We're going to kick things off with a staple of height workouts, burpees. Starting in a standing position, drop into a squat, place your hands on the floor, and jump your feet back into a plank. Then reverse the movement and end with a jump into the air. Aim for a set of 10 burpees. Remember, it's not about speed, but about maintaining a steady, consistent pace. Burpees are fantastic for getting your heart rate up and working your whole body. Next up, we have squat jumps. Begin in a regular squat position, then use your lower body strength to propel yourself into a jump. Land softly into the squat position and repeat for a set of 15. Squat jumps are excellent for targeting your lower body, especially your quads, glutes, and hamstrings. Moving on, let's engage our upper body with push-ups. Start in a high plank position, lower your body until your chest is just above the ground, then push back up. Aim for a set of 10 to 15 push-ups, depending on your strength level. Push-ups are a classic upper body exercise that works your chest, shoulders, and triceps. Now, let's mix things up with mountain climbers. Start in a high plank position, then alternate bringing your knees towards your chest, similar to running in place. Aim for a set of 20 mountain climbers. This exercise is fantastic for your core and also incorporates cardio, keeping your heart rate elevated. Next, we're going to tackle lunges. Stand tall, take a step forward with one foot and lower your body until your front knee is at a 90 degree angle. Push back up and alternate legs. Aim for a set of 10 lunges on each leg. Lunges are a great lower body exercise that targets your quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Now let's engage our core with bicycle crunches. Lie flat on your back, bring your knees to your chest, and alternate touching your elbows to the opposite knee. Aim for a set of 20 bicycle crunches. This exercise is fantastic for your abs and obliques. Finally, we'll end with plank jacks. Start in a high plank position, then jump your feet in and out similar to a jumping jack. Aim for a set of 15 plank jacks. This exercise is a full body move that combines strength and cardio. Remember, intensity is key in high height workouts. Push yourself during these exercises, but be sure to rest in between sets. Don't forget to breathe, stay hydrated, and listen to your body. If an exercise feels too challenging, modify it to suit your fitness level. The goal is to maintain a high heart rate throughout the workout, but not to the point of exhaustion. That rounds up our main workout. You should be feeling your heart racing, your muscles working, and yes, you should be sweating. 
that's a sign that you're doing it right. Congratulations on completing the main workout, but we're not done yet, it's time to cool down. Remember, cooling down is just as important as the workout itself. It allows your heart rate and breathing to return to normal and can help prevent muscle stiffness. So stick around for the final scene, where we will guide you through a soothing and effective cool down. Keep up the great work. After an intense workout, it's important to cool down and allow your body to recover. As we wrap up this full body height session, it's time to bring our heart rate down gradually and give our muscles some well-deserved rest. Cooling down is an essential part of the workout routine that is often overlooked. It helps to reduce muscle soreness, prevent injuries, and improve flexibility. Let's start our cool down with some deep controlled breathing. Inhale deeply through your nose, hold the breath for a moment, and then exhale slowly through your mouth. This deep breathing helps to slow your heart rate and relax your body. Next, let's move on to some gentle stretching to help loosen up those worked muscles. Start with a standing quad stretch. Stand tall, grab your right foot with your right hand and gently pull it towards your glutes. Keep your knees together and your chest open. Hold this position for about 30 seconds and then switch to the other leg. Now let's stretch the upper body with an arm across the chest stretch. Extend your right arm straight out in front of you, then bend it across your chest, using your left hand to hold it in place. Again, hold this stretch for about 30 seconds before switching to the other arm. Lastly, let's target the hamstrings with a simple forward fold. Stand tall, then hinge at the hips, allowing your upper body to hang down towards the floor. Keep your knees slightly bent and try to relax your neck and shoulders. Hold this position for about a minute. Remember, stretching should never be painful. It's about gently elongating the muscles to improve flexibility and aid recovery. Listen to your body and only go as far as comfortable. Well done! You've just completed a full body HIIT workout in just 30 minutes. Remember, consistency is key. Keep going. Your journey to fitness doesn't end here. It's a continuous process, and every step you take brings you closer to your goals. So keep pushing, keep sweating, and most importantly, keep believing in yourself. You've got this.